Hey guys and uh, welcome to uh, Vinland Saga manga review. So a new chapter has been released, uh, 166 I think, yeah. Uh, first of all this is spoilers, if you are an anime watcher this is not for you. We're gonna talk about the latest chapter of Vinland Saga, so spoilers. And now let's talk about Thorfinn. So in this chapter we are Post time skip, two to three years have passed since the war in the Baltic. Um, our heroes have gone to Constantinople, they've gone to Greece, and now they're back. I will talk about the whole time skip in a bit. We get to see them go back to Iceland, meet with the loved ones, friends, and allies, and uh, the big event in this chapter was the marriage of... Thorfinn to Gudrid. First of all, concerning the time skip, um, I feel it was understandable. I mean, the writer has been writing this for, what, 14 years now? So he obviously wants the story to move forward. And since the, the manga is monthly, even a small arc with 20 chapters, it would have been... It would have taken two years, two years of his life. So I think it was the right move to make. But I think it is absolutely necessary that we see what happened in these years. Thorfinn has a new scar on his like left eye, I think. Um, he has grown his hair. Uh, they've, they've been to different places because we see bug eye Thorfinn. He's, he's dressed like an Arab, which... Makes no sense. I don't. I don't think the Arabs were around that time, or if they were, they certainly were not in Constantinople. Constantinople was still Greek at the time, or Byzantine rather. Um, so maybe they went to Africa. I don't know. This doesn't make much sense. And we need to see what kind of like character development they had. First of all, let's get something out of the way now. Uh, I'm glad that Sigurd is out of the picture. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be against seeing him in the future, like in one uh, chapter, or maybe coming back to see his father before Halfdan dies. But I don't think he has any other purpose in the story, and I couldn't see him go to Vinland with Thorfinn and the others because. What is he gonna do? Like, it doesn't feel right. We'll see. Now, uh, Ilva, uh, Thorfinn's sister, greets him. Uh, I'm starting to hate Ilva. She plays no role whatsoever in the story at this point. She doesn't really add anything. And she doesn't really even have that good of a relationship with Thorfinn. I hope that when Thorfinn finally leaves Iceland for good, they're going to have a heart-to-heart -heart and they're going to be talking about their issues. But I just don't see why she's there. Uh, Hild was just sitting around in a corner, which goes to show how unimportant and pointless her character has become. Like, her whole, her whole thing is like, I'm going to be like demon that haunts Thorfinn about his past actions rem always remind him that you know his past is going to um, take revenge one day but that does not work because Thorfinn is a good person so as for as long as Thorfinn is a good person he's kind and generous Hild can Hild will basically just sit around she won't do anything. And she doesn't have any kind of relationship with the other members either. Like, she has no relationship with Einar or uh, Gudrid or anyone, really. She just stands around. There was this one panel with uh, Leif, Leif Erikson, and he seemed to be even older. He seemed to have difficulty walking, which makes me think, oh my god, he's not going to make it. He's either not going to join them in Vinland, which 
the original Leif Erikson was not. The, the real life Leif Erikson never went with Thorfinn to Vinland, as far as I can remember. He's either going to stay back in Iceland, or if he comes with them, he's certainly going to die there. What else? Now, let's talk a, a little bit about the, the main event, which is Thorfinn's marriage. Uh, boy, I was kind of expecting this moment to see Thorfinn and Gudrid be together. But that whole thing, this whole thing is a, is a letdown. It's really a letdown because there was no development between these two. We don't know how they act together. We know Gudrid really likes him. But we never had a moment where uh, Thorfinn would look at uh, Gudrid with love or, or even with passion. There was nothing. Before the time skip, they barely exchanged any like words. I would argue bug-eyed Thorfinn was more connected with Gudrid in a sense. Thorfinn and Gudrid did not talk that much. Yes, she did confess to him, but that was about it. There was no, there was no nothing. And it makes me sad because that was the last direction that Thorfinn's character could go. Um, he has he has grown so much over the years, and the one last direction would be um, to see him function in a relationship, to see him function um, while he's in love. And I think there were a lot of plot lines that could be added there, like maybe Gudrid would be abducted by the natives, or maybe she would be lost, and Thorfinn would have to, you know he would have to endanger his life to go save her or whatever. That, that, that would be so cool. I don't see that happening either. So I don't know where Thorfinn's character is heading right now. He is married. He has Gudrid and Carly for some reason, which I... Pff, why did they keep this child, man? Anyway, Aner is like nowhere to be found. Aner is like my favorite character out of these guys. And he seems so stuck and I think it would really work if he found a woman too. I think maybe that's how Aner can grow now. Not just go to Vinland and build a society. Maybe if you give him a romantic interest and maybe even a baby, then he would have to care for someone else other than Thorfinn for once. There were several moments that I felt were so rushed. It felt so rushed. This whole chapter was like, Really, really rushed. And um, Thorfinn's marriage could have been a couple of chapters on its own. And it was, what, seven panels? Okay, cool. Uh, what about Thorfinn and Halfdan having a heart-to-heart? -heart? That could have been an entire chapter on its own. Like, they could remember the, the, the family members they have lost. I mean, Halfdan has pretty much lost his son and Thorfinn has lost his father so maybe they could they, maybe they could spend one day or one afternoon just looking at the horizon and thinking about life family uh, honor all of this and maybe Halfdan could be could open up a little and say you know what your father was a great man that would be really good but that didn't happen and Everything is condensed into s smaller parts and pieces. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I've gotten the feeling that the author wants to get to Vinland. And I believe that worst case scenario, in one year from now, we will be in Vinland. I think with the pace that he has right now, in six, seven chapters, we're going to get to Vinland. I don't know if that's good because I would, I would prefer the, uh, the journey to Vinland to be its own arc, and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be. But on the other hand, I can understand the creator. He has been working on this series for so many years, and he wants his characters to reach, you know, their goals. He wants to draw that. I imagine that he might have already drawn panels with the characters in Vinland. So 
This is the, the most exciting part for him, I guess. That's pretty much it. I think everything is really rushed. And that does a disservice to the characters. But if that means that we're going to get to Vinland faster. And we're going we're gonna to have the writer give his everything onto that. I can I can totally respect that and say, okay, let's go. Let's go to Vinland. Let's see what he has to offer. Um, as to when Vinland Saga is going to end, it is not going to end soon. I think it will take about three to four years at least, and maybe even more, maybe even like five or six years. But Because um, we need to get to Vinland, which is going to be like, what, 40 chapters minimum? getting there and then establishing what happens there. Uh, and then we're going to need a couple of mini arcs to establish what happened with with Knut. Because Knut is still back in Europe. He's not with our characters. So we need to establish what, what happens to him. So another five to ten chapters for Knut will still need around 60 to 70 chapters minimum. Uh, so that means around six, five to six years, I think. So don't worry, it's not going to end that soon. I think the writer needs to focus a little bit more on the characters that matter. Thorfinn, Einar, Gudrid, their journey. And just focus on that. Forget Hild, forget Carly, forget Ilva, forget Halfdan, forget... Freaking Sigurd, just focus on the main characters, Fo focus on Canute. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry if that was uh, a bit longer. Um, I will cover pretty much every new chapter of Vinland Saga moving on. Uh, and maybe it will be this kind of format. I'll, I'll talk, and there are going to be some images from the manga playing. But. I might also use video. I'll, I'll see. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being with me. And uh, hit like. Smash the subscribe button if you haven't. And check out my other Villain Saga content. It's really nice. And see you on my next Villain Saga video, guys.